This video contains almost 6 hours of video spanning the last 2 days. I've condensed the performance art down to less than an hour. Rev doesn't like Shani calling him mean names like, annoying. Shani doesn't like it when Rev has feelings. Please enjoy. Also, remember when someone called the police while Shani secretly live-streamed it exactly a month ago? Well, Rev has court September 12, 2024. This was briefly brought up during their art display. I say in vogue. So she had the two. No, no, I, no. No, I say... No. I no. I Harris say. Harris dressed I, I, Harris dressed with class. She didn't dress street. Woo! God, you're so fucking annoying. Yep. Leave me. Thinking about it. And sleep her way to office. That's what fucking asshole men say to women. <laughs> oh, wow. These two crazy kids. You wanted to do this. And now you can't even sit still? Do you know what it means to be manic for days? No, you don't. Why are you yelling at me? Because you're making it seem like this is just, oh, I'm just being an asshole. No. It sure sounds like it. Really? Whoa. Yeah. I think I need to go to the ER. Then and you go. just sit there. Then go. Thank you, Captain Ahab, for joining the BPD crew. Uh, uh, um. Glad I came back for this, Jenny. I really love salt and pepper. Yeah, oh, yeah, I love salt and pepper, too. I hope she destroys him tonight. God, I hope she destroys him tonight. Because he is such a disgusting asshole, Trump. Ugh. Remember, folks, you should judge mental instability. Nah, that's okay, Captain. It happens. I'm sorry, honey. I should be in a mental ward. I should. Well, am I going to be able to say anything without you, like, freaking out on me? Because I can leave. You can? You can leave here? You want me to leave? No. But but I'm really out of my mind. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I can tell. <clears throat> I am. I am, truly. Truly. And you can roll your eyes at that and be just like, Oh, God, I'm so put upon by this mentally ill guy that's in my life. See, I can't say something without you insulting me. I didn't insult you. That's what you did to me. He's so annoying. I know, I annoy myself. You're yelling in my ear. And barking like a dog. How is that not annoying? All right, I'm going to chill. Sorry. If you agree that you're fucking annoying, why are you mad at me for thinking you're annoying? 
Good point. Good point. Maybe not be fucking annoying. Once again, do you know what it means to have mental illness? Of course you do. Of course you do. But I get judged for it. You never do. But I do. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Real what funny. made you think I'm judging you? You do judge me constantly for my mania. How? You're annoying. You yelled and barked in my ear. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, annoying. annoying. Sorry, you take offense at you barking in my ear and I'm saying that's annoying. Annoying. You Leave said me. you were annoying. Leave me. Why are you saying that now? Because I'm so annoying. In two hours, you'll be like, I'm so sorry. I don't want you to leave me. Okay. I didn't say I wanted you to leave me. I said if I'm so fucking horrible, leave me. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. I'm I done. Am, I am done too. <laughs> I am so sick of being treated I am bad done. by you. I am sick of you. your fucking treatment. I Hi, so apparently Jason has court tomorrow. We didn't receive any papers on that. But I'm sure I'll tell the court how he's been treating me, if that's the case. So can someone give me that information? Because I've been... Am I okay? No. No, I'm not. I've been treated pretty horribly. For just saying so when barking in my ear is annoying. Call every name in the book. <laughs> so I really need that information. So. I guess it's okay if you're bipolar to bark in someone's ear and hurt their ears. They're not supposed to say anything about it. They're just supposed to let it go. I guess it's, I have to let that go too. That I'm called every name in the book and put down. I guess I'm supposed to put up with that too. Because he's bipolar, right? I'm not supposed to put up with being called how disgusting I am for not being able to properly care for myself. I'm just supposed to feel broken and down my whole life. Treated like I don't matter. And like I don't exist. That's what I should be doing. I guess be a good girl. Be silent over what you go through. I wish I could disappear. I really do. But I really need to know. It's okay for him to do whatever he wants to me. If I say something, I'm the evil one. It's amazing. I'm the one crying, and he's the one who's a good guy. I can be treated like utter shit. But I do need to know about this court. Because I need out. I need, a, I need a, a place to go. A place to be safe. A place where I'm not mentally torn down. 
and treat it like I don't matter. I want to be protected. I want to matter. Does anyone have an answer to the court date? Oh, fuck off, Rizla. You're a piece of shit. I'm not gaslighting anyone. I'm not gaslighting anyone. I'm torn apart. And I'm ready to disappear. You can go away too. I see how you put shit in his head. And get him to treat me fucking foul. I find it very interesting that mostly men say in this to a woman. You're probably abusive toward women. You probably love to see a woman in pain and hurting and suffering. All I do is stick and stand up for my sisters. Oh, Nancy, you love seeing me get my karma. All you want to do is spread your legs for anyone you see popular on the internet. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm not getting any karma. What karma am I receiving? What did I do to deserve to be treated so horribly? Huh? Everything you're mad at me about is what he did. And call me fat all you want. I don't care. It's okay. A woman can cry so many times, but yet nobody believes the woman until she's dead. That's the truth. Men enjoy hating women. Men enjoy abusing women and treating them like shit and like they don't exist. And tearing them down until they feel like they are nothing with no hope or prospect in life. I have nothing to live for. I have nothing to die for. I'm just here, forced to exist and live in misery, knowing you tried your hardest just for everyone to hate your fucking guts. And that's what I live with every day. Sorrow and hatred thrown at me on every side with no safe place. You can go be abusive to me and say whatever you want. It says more about you than me. I'm a woman crying. Feeling empty and completely lost and broken hearted. Broken hearted. You hear what you want to hear, but you don't listen. You believe what you want to believe, but you don't seek the truth. This world is so demonic. The majority of people you're going to meet in this world are going to be demons. And they're going to be demons to you and say how much they love you. But under the same breath, under the same tongue, they tell you how much they despise you. That's what humans do. And I hate people. <laughs> they can't treat me with an ounce of care or respect. They tear that they're in my life. They expect me to feel loved when I've been so torn down by their own words. They expect me to be forgiven when I show no mercy or forgiveness. Everything is thrown in my face. Everything is thrown in my face. You can say how much you love me publicly. But privately, you tell me how much you despise me. 
I'm truly sorry. If you honestly think someone's saying it's annoying for you barking in their ear is disrespect toward you, I can't help you. I'm you are disrespecting me by barking in my ear. Yes, because I was too mad at and I got Yeah. But yet I'm the abusive one, but yet you were the one who started it and started barking in my ear disrespecting me. I'm sorry. And I'm called a bitch and a whore and everything all goddamn night. You're none of that. You are none of that. None of that. You are none of that. I always wanted a, a fairy tale romance where I have a prince rescue me. And that doesn't exist. Honey. Treat me like a queen. That doesn't exist. Not real. It doesn't matter. It's how I should be treated. Relationships have back and forth. I should be treated like I matter and not treated disrespectfully. And that's why I clean your ass for you. Okay? You do matter. Do you know how disrespectful saying that is to someone? No, it's not. No, I love you. No, you don't. Okay. Constant embarrassing me on the internet. Yeah, you roll your eyes at me constantly. Well, gee, when someone's bragging about how teenagers are flirting with you, maybe it is fucking I ridiculous. Teenagers. Oh, look at these young girls always flirting with me. Fucking dumb shit. 40 year old man acting that way. And then be and then and not seeing the disrespecting your wife in that. That's your own insecurity. Yeah, right. It is. And I don't look at them. Oh. Yeah, except you tell me how hot they are. Well, they are. I thought you didn't look at them. How do you know they're not hot if you don't look at them? Because I'm not blind. Yeah, so you did look. Yeah. Yeah, I have all these eyes. hot women. I have eyes. eyes. Well, good for you. Why don't you try something with them and see how you're There's hot guys that hit on you. Who? I'm never out. Not out. I mean on the internet. Hot guys. Very hot Do guys. I brag about it? Yeah. No, well, I don't. You know you're hot. No, I don't. So I think I'm gross most of the time. You're not though. And when you when you dress yourself up and get some makeup on, you look gorgeous. I don't want to be hot. I don't want to be labeled as some kind of sex thing. I'm 41 years old. I admit that is a compliment, honey. Just a compliment. I don't want to be sexualized. I'm just complimenting you. That's not a compliment. To tell you you're hot? That's not a compliment. No. Oh, okay. Cause you don't mean it. Yes, I do. Oh, really? Cause in private, you tell me how fat and disgusting I am. I don't mean that. Oh, you don't mean it. No. Oh, so in private, you say the things you don't mean. When I'm really bipolar out and angry. Yeah. Well, I say what I mean. Okay. I don't fucking lie to hurt someone just to hurt them. It's part of my disease. Yeah. Right. I've never been treated by so with someone with bipolar like you have treated me. How many bipolar people have you known? Several. Okay. Well, mine manifests this way. And I'm sorry. Because I truly love you. No, you don't. Okay, fine. I don't. That's gaslighting. Yeah, you can't treat me like you love me, though. When I fuck up. No, I fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then go to therapy like you promise everyone. Get the help you need. Yeah, I gotta go to Scranton Counseling. Said, yeah, why don't you do it for once? Well, it was gas, but I have gas. Like, I've been asking you for, I for had over gas. years. I now. haven't had years. Years I've been asking you no, to get you help. you haven't. Yeah, I have. Because this hasn't manifested this bad. So you're lying again. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Really? Stop lying. How am I lying? It's been in the last year that it's no. gotten this bad. No. Oh, God. Make your own narrative then. Go ahead. Make your own fucking narrative. I'm not making my narrative up. It's the truth. The anyway. It's the truth. I've no, been asking you to get help for truth. years. It's been the last year that I've been starting to see Phil fucking appear in front of me. Well, maybe you should change the way how you live. Yeah, I would. I'm a caregiver to you, and I can't be away from you long. Yeah. Too bad you don't care for my emotions and mental state. Well, I am going to get help. I am. Yeah, okay. I want, I want to be what you need, but I'm not mentally well enough to do it, so I need to do that. I'll go. Look, if I got You can't with, even call... The fucking cops to see if you have a court case tomorrow. You can't even call anywhere to see if something's going on with you. Well, I don't know how they, they would know. I would have to call the courthouse. And I, they told me. the cops. Yeah, and I asked you to, and you were like, I don't care. When the cops, Let them arrest me. Fine. The cops, Be arrested tomorrow. Would you shut up? No. The cops were here, and they told me you'll get your notice in the mail. And I didn't receive anything in the mail. 
And I'll enjoy being in handcuffs tomorrow. No, I'm going to go. I'll go to the court. I, I'm going to go to Scranton Counseling at least tomorrow. And then I'll go to the courthouse. You ain't going to do courthouse? shit. Huh? Tell you what is full of broken promises. Keep pointing your fingers at me when it's your fault. It's men who cause the wars in this world. It's men that causes the fights in this world. It's men who like to degrade women and use the basic tropes of she's crazy, she's a bitch, she's a slut. That's all you got. Or, or fat. You're fat, you're a bitch, you're crazy, and you're a slut. That's all men can give women. While expecting us to suck their little fucking peepees. Spread your legs, bitch. Some are Pringle cans, you know. Spread your legs, bitch. That's all you're good for. You're just a cum dumpster. That's how women are treated in this world. You're just a brood mare. You're just there to put babies in. And if you get pregnant and you have ectopic pregnancy, fuck you, bitch. Die. We'll just let you fucking die of sepsis. Because you didn't give the baby a place to stay in your uterus. How dare you, you bitch. You crazy bitch. women on the Supreme Court, you know, and they, they fucking let that shit go through the dots thing. Kagan, you know, what's her name? Kagan? Uh, Sotomayor? It's probably because they were forced to by men and their threats. I mean, maybe, yeah. Maybe. Because that's all men know how to do is threaten you and make you feel insecure. Do they make you feel alive like you're a princess? That you're loved? No, they can't do that! Controversy and division and contempt is more important. War. God, I wish women would do us a favor and close their legs and say no to men. You want me to put babies in this world? No. Not if they're going to end up like pieces of shit like you. I wish I was on a spaceship alone. Away from people. I am a man, but and they're abusive ways. I am a man, but I'm a man that loves you. Yeah, why don't you start treating me like you love me? I know I fucked up, but I do love you. Yeah, okay. I don't believe it. Okay. I believe actions, not words. I know. And that's the way it should be. Words are meaningless when you keep doing the same thing over and over again. That gets me to hate you. I know, and I'm sorry, and I need the new medication. I do. Yeah, but you do nothing to help yourself. Well, I'm doing nothing. And then you blame me why you can't help yourself. No, it's just true, honey. You can't let yourself. I have to be here all day. No, I thought I wasn't disabled, Jason. But yeah, I can get services for a disabled no, person. That's interesting. No, I didn't mean that. You are disabled. You are. Go in the corner, bitch, and stand there. Hey, disabled woman, go walk to the corner. I do think you need to move more, honey. You know what you meant. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I really, I, I do think you need to move more. Well, good. I've been saying I need a fucking walker. Yeah, the doctor hasn't done shit. I know, but maybe that'll change now. Maybe I'll move more if I had something where I don't feel like I'm going to fall down. You have better health care now, and maybe you'll get all of this stuff now, baby. Maybe if my legs didn't shake so much, maybe I'd feel a little steady. I know. But yeah, oh, I'm not disabled. I can walk. I can do all this shit. No, you can't. I'm done. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. done. I am done too. I I'm so sick of being treated I am bad done. by you. I am you sick of you. your fucking treatment. I didn't even do that. I am sick you. of your oh. fucking You're you're for that. You're for euthanasia. You have been essentially all week been telling me I need to die. And you've been saying it about yourself. And then you say you love me. I do love you. Yeah, but you want me to die? No. No. Then why would you say something like that to someone? Why do you say you want to die constantly, honey? Because I can! Okay. Fair enough.
Fair enough. Maybe if I didn't have it shoved in my face like you do to me, maybe maybe I wouldn't feel that way. No, you say it about yourself every day. I don't do shit. <sighs> Take come for me and fucking vacation. You're for that. You say it yourself. I hope I do die, then you can have these shitty fucking women oh who throw gosh, themselves at that's you. That's what this comes down to, is me being with other women. You're obsessed with it. Hey, you can be with these shitty fucking women that throw themselves at you, and then you can see how 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 a real abusive woman's gonna be like. I'm with you. These shitty little fucking whores. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I love you. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. Yeah, I know. I want you. That bitch Ansia saying, "I enjoy seeing you get your karma." Fucking whore. I'm glad I don't think between my legs. I take pride in that, that I don't think between my legs. And you hate me because I speak the truth. You hate me because I reflect your own shit back at you. Seethe. Wail and gnash your teeth because that's what you're going to be doing in hell. And you hate my contempt for it? I could give a fucking shit. Because if you're mad at my contempt, you're going to be even more mad at God's contempt. You're spitting some good truth, man. I hope people are listening to this because you're preaching good. Why? Am I convicting you? For being a man and an asshole? Yeah. You are. But I'm just a lowly woman. I'm just a cunt. Mm -mm. I'm just disgusting and pathetic. I know nothing. Not the only thing I know is how much I despise mankind. Your curse you tried to put on me will be put on you tenfold. Not by me in my own words, but by God. Enjoy your downfall, Rizla and Scientist Sam. God's going to tear you asunder. And you, Ansia, you're probably going to get diseased. Because you can't stop Spreading your legs. God speaking right through your mouth. They don't like it, though. That's some conviction, you know? I don't care if they don't like it. That's their problem that they have to fix within themselves. Yep, repent. Jesus is coming. Do, do you want foods? Or are you okay? No! I'm not hungry. You know I don't get hungry when I'm upset. Okay. Just check on you. Pretend you're nice to me in public. Private, it's another story. Oh, Boy, would I love to hear you say those things to me in I private. This morning. Yeah, and then you went on a tangent of how because horrible and disgusting I am. Well, you know what? Talking about how all the women want you is piggish. I do nothing to try to make up with you. Yeah, you make up with me, and then you treat me like shit again. You well, it is piggish. I'm going to Whatever. Honey, I am so sorry. I'll say it publicly, privately, whatever. I love you and I'm sorry. And I am going to get help. I promise you, tomorrow, I'm going. Okay? You're going to be in jail tomorrow. If I am, I am. That's fine, too. I'll get help there. I will. You know? You're so worried about me not having anyone, and then you do this. Like, I, I do what? Uh, then I'm not going to have anyone when you're in jail. No, but you will. You have good health care. They'll probably send someone out here. Probably not. No one gives a damn about me. Honey, you got good health care now. You do. Because you are disabled. And they recognize it, you know? First thing tomorrow, when I wake up, I'll call, I'll make calls, and, and I'll try and get people to be here for you if I have to go to jail. You know what I mean? I love you. And you're freaking fire. Good stuff. No, guys, this is not performance art. This is real. You wish it was performance art. You wish you had that little that little thing where you could be like, oh, this isn't real. We aren't actually being convicted. Yeah, you are. Jesus Christ is going to force you to bow your knee to him if you like it or not. Amen. There is something wrong with you. Oh, there it is again. There's something wrong with me. There is. I'm not even reading the chat, Jason. You need therapy, man, and so do I. 
a therapist ain't gonna do nothing but validate the fact that I have the right to feel disdain yeah, toward people smart, who treat me bad. Against the one person that's here to help you. How do you help me when you call me every name in the book? Have fun. I'm, I'm glad you do it in public. You won't hear from me again. The Pharisees told how wonderful they are in public too. Again, yeah, because you can't do it in private, can you? That's why I'm keeping this live stream on, because I know as long as this live stream on, I'm going to be treated with a little decent respect. As soon as it goes off, though, I'm back to being a pig and disgusting. You want a public? You want a public? Why don't you, honey? You've already said it a billion times to me today. Do you want it public? Oh, are you threatening me? Roll your eyes some more. See? Told you he's full of it. Oh, yeah, punch things. That'll make me feel very secure. I've been trying to make you feel secure. You're going to continue to bully me? I'm not bullying yes, you. Yes, you are. How? How? You're lucky. I'm a nice guy. Oh, what are you going to do if you weren't a nice guy? That you haven't done to me before. Should I tell publicly what you've done to me privately? In Colorado? Oh, roll your eyes again. You want to make me your enemy, I'll be your worst enemy. If you already were, so what difference does it make? Oh, I was your enemy when I took you and your kids in. I love that the mask is huh? falling off. Huh? When I took you and your kids in? Enjoy the mask. You remember you that? fell off, people. You Enjoy remember it. that? Enjoy it. You remember when I took you in my home? Huh? You remember that? You remember when I'm continually, every day, defending you to my uncle and keeping you under this roof? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You should be very grateful. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. I'll feel grateful that you treat me like shit. Sure. I'll be so grateful for it. Sure. Thanks for treating me like shit. How do you treat me? Usually, I'm quiet and I try not to bother you. You ignore me. Because I don't want to be yelled at. Right. Is that the reason you ignore me? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, look at you now. Yeah, because you're continually treating me like your enemy. So you got one if you want one. Well, you treat me like shit. Well, there you go. So continue to treat me like shit. It's not a difference. Yeah? I have a question for you. Do you have like a secret stash of shit that you take? Because you have acted wasted for the past, I don't know, five days. Maybe I'm sick and exhausted is and that tired is? of being bullied by people. Oh, because you really do act very fucking wasted. Or maybe you're just accusing like the devil. Well, you accuse me. You know, why do I smell alcohol? I don't know, because you want to? I do smell alcohol. Do you? Maybe you smell a monster. Because you're drinking one. Now that smells like alcohol, all right. It can, yeah. Okay. It can. Sure, hon. See? That's how I'm usually treated in private. You want a public, right? Bullied and Oh, I do that all the time, right, Chan? When I'm wiping your ass. Yeah, embarrassing me. Right? And I wipe your ass, and I love you every fucking day, but twist it for the drama, because you're a fucking drama queen. Uh-huh, sure. The song, A Perfect Circle? Sure. The Outsider, yeah. you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I know I'm the outsider. I don't belong in this world. Yeah. Never have. Narcissistic, drama queen. Craving fame and all its decadence. Uh-huh. That's you. Uh-huh. You liking the fame? You got like 400 people in the room. You never did that on your own, did you? Uh-huh. 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 You want any? It's not like I had a fucking person who cared. See? Point given that people choose evil over good. Just proof. Sounds like there's someone on our porch.
in public, he loves me. In private, he hates me. And I'm just supposed to put a good face on. It's okay. He doesn't do anything. Oh, well. uh, looks like your girlfriend wants to talk to you. Your Norway shanty. That's a fake answer. I don't want this fucking shit. It's poison. Thanks for wasting your money on poison. Fucking Zionist company, too. Gross. It belongs in the fucking trash, because that's what it is, is trash. McDonald's is poison. So if you send me McDonald's, you're telling me to eat poison. And I'm not going to. Your words are poison and your actions are poison. Blessing and a curse comes out of your mouth. Oh, I love you. Oh, you're trash. I hate you. I'm going to be your worst enemy. Okay. Good to know that's where your love lies. If you don't get your way in instant happiness and forgiveness, oh, no. I'm back to being trash. Because you treat me like trash. Why? Why should I take your words as truth when you do the opposite? Nobody truly loves me and their actions show it. I'm Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And I'm like, why aren't you wake, staying awake for me? And they all do their own thing. I'm bleeding from my pores and crying my eyes out. They ignore the Lord. Their supposed Lord, they ignore But it's a lot better to be online. He at least decently somewhat behaves. Instead of going full course. Why do you keep hitting that thing like that? I'm not. I'm just leaning on it. Well, stop it. No, my back hurts. Well, it got her something. Everything hurts on me. I don't get a break from that either. Of not being in physical pain. So let's just make Shannon's pain worse by emotionally distraughting her. I get your back hurt and lay down, okay? For real. Okay? Why don't you show me how much of an enemy you can be? No, I'm not, I, I, if you're going to be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Oh, so I have to be the one nice first, right? You treat me like shit all day when I've been trying to make up with you all day. You've been calling me every name in the book all day. You called me a pig when I said I apologize to you. Can you forgive me? That's what I said in the morning. And you called me a pig. <laughs> yeah, and you went back to old behavior. Of course, because I'm bipolar, dude. 
That's going to happen. Well, good. For you. Can you accept my apology for what happened yesterday? And today? No, you started that because uh, I... Oh, I started Yes, you did. Yeah. You called me a pig in the morning. Can we end this and be friends again? <laughs> What's friendship to you? Love. What's love to you? Unconditional caring for someone. Yeah. Which I do. <laughs> Unconditional. Yeah, I, I don't see that. Fair enough. I'll work on that. <laughs> like you've been working at it all these years? I showed you unconditional love when I opened my house to you. Shani, I'm trying to help you. You are spiraling, and I'm trying to help you out of that. I love you. Threaten me and punch me some more. Maybe that'll convince me. It's because you kept doing that, man. Dum, dum. Lay down, honey. If you're really tired, lay down. Baby. How can I go to sleep when someone's yelling at me and calling me disgusting and vile names? Yell at you. I'm not going to do anything like that. If your back is hurting, lay down, honey. Okay? I'm not going to do anything to you. Except love me. Uh-huh. Give him five minutes, he'll go back saying how horrible I am. Why are you still searching? If I'm not enough, where will you go, child? Tell me, where will you run? To where will you run? Because I'll be by your side whenever you fall. Dead of night, whenever you call, please don't fight these hands that are holding you. My hands are holding you. <laughs> Look at these hands in my side. They swallow the grave. On that night, when I drank the world's sin, so that I could carry you in and give you life, I want to give you life, because I'll be by your side whenever you call, dead of night, whenever you fall. Please don't fight these hands that are holding you. My hands are holding you here in my side whenever you fall. The day of night, whenever you call. Please don't fight these hands that are holding you. My hands are holding you. I Cops are here. Dead of night, whenever you fall, please don't fight these hands that are. Son of a bitch admitted to the cops that he's been drinking. Son of a bitch admitted to the cops that he was drinking. Son of a bitch admitted to the cops that he was drinking. How long have you been sneaking behind my back? A little bit. Yeah, again. And then you wonder why I don't trust you. I don't blame you, but I'm going to fix this. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm going tomorrow. Going tomorrow, I promise. And if I'm not here, you'll know why. You do what you have to do, baby. All right. You yeah, know. I'm done being abused by a drunk. There you go. Good. I told you don't come here to my house back in 2018. 
Don't bring kids into this. You go and try to make yourself seem like you're so in, in, innocent. No, I admitted everything to them. Yeah, to them, but everyone else you lied to. What are you talking about? You said online I was crazy for smelling alcohol. Is it live? Is it? Yep. Cool. I lied. Yes. One can. Because my heart rate. Isn't was that going, interesting? My heart rate was going to 110. Isn't that interesting? My heart rate was going to 110. Honey. I go to the hospital. You won't let me because you constantly. Oh, me yeah. Cheating. I'd much rather you drink and treat me like I shit said than go to the hospital. Night. Go to the hospital right now, then. I'm going to go to Scranton Counseling tomorrow. I told you yesterday to go to the hospital and you didn't. No, you, I said, will you be okay if I go? And I said, no, but go. So you say no to that and I'm supposed to just go. No, I'm not going to be okay. When have I ever been okay? You heard that, folks. It's okay to be not okay. No, it's not. When you're so suicidal every day, you say, I want to die. That's why they came again. Some woman from Michigan called and said, I want to kill myself. You have to stop doing that. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Nope. Yes, you did. Nope. That's why they came here. Do you know what the cop told me to do? 302 you. I'll do it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Because you are mentally. What are you fucked. gonna what are you gonna do? Drink more while I'm I don't have anything else. Fucking sneak. Yeah, I did. Liar. Yep, yeah, I lied. Don't expect trust from me. Yeah, don't expect nothing from me no more. I haven't for a long time. Yeah, good for you. You do expect me to wipe your ass, though. No, you still have to go and put that in, huh? Yeah. Because I take care of you with love. Wash you when you you lift your gut up to, to fucking let me wash you. Yeah, I love you. Huh. Not love me enough to quit drinking or treat me decently like a human. Now I know why you've been treating me so bad. No. Now I know why you haven't been Wrong. kissing me. Wrong. Or holding me at night. Wrong. You didn't want me to smell the booze on you. Wrong. You what? can't control yourself when you're drinking. Yes, I can. Yeah, you're a completely different person when you drink, and everyone sees it. Wrong. That's One. why they were saying you're drinking, One I know. One can. It. Yeah. To and bring my heart rate down. Go to the hospital. I would if you could wipe your own ass. I'm not shitting right now, am I? Go to the hospital. God forbid I want the sober sweet Jason. No, I don't get that. I get the drunk, evil piece of shit Jason. I ain't drunk. My ass. I'm not drunk. You're certainly not acting normal either. Well, my normal when I'm manic is running around the fucking house like a goddamn nut, and that's not good for you either, is it? No, nothing is good enough for you. Well, why don't you go to the hospital? They'll, what, the, what the fuck are they going to do for me? Huh? Something. Something? Go. Go now. Fuck you. Yeah, it's all what? an excuse. No. It's all an excuse. What's an excuse? What? Your heart rate and oh, everything. It's an excuse. Everything's an excuse. Everything Can is an excuse. Can you leave me alone and stop menacing me? Fuck you. You, you. you are the most disgusting person next to Gary. You're right underneath him. Yeah, I'm not menacing you. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm not the one who lies. Fuck off. Fuck. Oh, no, I'm a whore again. Hey, Another male trope. You are. I would have loved to see how much you flirted with that cop. Would have loved to see that. I flirted with the cop? Yeah, I would love to see that. I flirted with the cop. Yeah, because you get any attention from another man, you are on top of it. Sure. The cop gave me a card for a woman's place. I'm going to be calling tomorrow. He claims how much he loves Jesus, and he lies to his wife's face Condemning and more. calls her crazy. There's your proof shown on camera. Because he may say he wants help, but he really doesn't want it. Because if he actually wanted help, he'd get it. He can easily leave me to get a beer and, and cigarettes. The love has been taken away from me. I wish I could take a vacation away from everyone. <laughs> I wish I was with Chantel in Thailand and just yeah, doing sure. my own thing. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly where you'd like to be. So you could lay out like a fucking whale with her. Better to lay like a whale than be treated like garbage. Better to lay like a whale than be lied to. So, your dad was military. And you work for the military too. You were assigned to be my handler. 
What? It worked. It worked. You're swiping. I was designed to be your handler. You were assigned by the government to be my handler. It worked. Uh huh. Is this some weird drunken paranoia now? I am drunk. Okay, hon. Whatever you say. I'm gonna be free soon. At least I'm not believing like a, a lie like you are right now. That's pretty fucking crazy sounding. I'm not a very good handler if I can't handle you, dude. I can't even walk. You did everything you were supposed to do. I didn't go broke. Yeah, and I had no discussion with government entities over this. It just happened. Right? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. You're not thinking clearly at all. You're acting delusional. I can see all obstacles in my way. Okay, hon. Enjoy your delusion. What are you going to do? Give him more money so he can drink more guys? So he can abuse a fucking disabled woman more? Or get more cigarettes for the abusive fucking woman I'm with. I'm not abusive at all. I'm not the one who lies and sneaks and hides and do things behind my back. You've probably been talking to women behind my back, too, and sleeping with them. You should have gone to the hospital, Jason. Like I've been telling you to. Oh. Get in your car or call 911. And what are you going to do here alone? Survive. What? You don't think about me when you go to get your drugs and your fucking cigarettes and your fucking booze. My drugs? Your booze. My drugs? Yeah, that's your drug. Yeah, you scream at me if you don't have your Delta. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, liar. I don't. Yes, you do. Uh huh. Who's really yelling right now and screaming fuck. right now? Yeah, God, fuck. I can't wait to be free of you. I cannot fucking wait. You're to be gonna free. be crying like a baby, getting crying. drunk off your no, ass no, and killing no. yourself. I am codependent, but I will you're get, gonna end up I killing yourself. I will get free of you. Obviously, I don't control you. You do whatever you want. If I ask to go to the hospital and you tell me no, when I ask you, you're gonna be okay. You think I'm gonna go? No, I'm not going to be okay. Did you want a, a negative uh, answer where it's going to be like, yeah, I'll be okay. No, I'm not going to be okay. So go to the hospital. You don't give a shit. You want to break up with me. So why is going to the hospital a problem? I don't want to break up with you. You just said you can't wait to be free from me. Yeah, because you, right now you're continuing to attack me. Because you lied to me and deceived me and said I was crazy. Yes, to bring my heart rate down, I did. I'd rather you go to the hospital. What do you think you're going to do for me at the hospital with a high heart rate? Probably give you an Ativan and let you sit there and calm the fuck down. All right, all right. I'll go now. And I want to thank whoever sent the McDonald's. That was kind. It's your girlfriend from Norway. No. No, it says Charlie H. Charlie H. You see the name? Yeah, enjoy the poison. I bless my food needed. Yeah, I'm not eating poison. Yeah, good for you. If you were starving, you wouldn't say that. If I was starving, I still wouldn't eat that poison. You're full of shit. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'd rather starve. Yeah, right. How dare you touch my honeycomb ice cream? You ate it all, so what the fuck are you complaining about? Fuck. I didn't even have a taste. Well, you wouldn't take one. Because I don't want to eat when I'm upset and sick. Oh. So go to the hospital. Do yourself a favor. I'm gonna. Yeah? I'm wondering when. You should tell them you've been treating your wife like shit, too. I'll tell them more than that. Yeah, go. Do it. I promise I'm not going to lie to you. Sneak behind your back and drink while you're in the hospital like you did with me. He's not going. He's full of shit. He doesn't want to get help. He uses me as an excuse to not get help. Why do you want to be alone in this house? You going to get some guy to come over here and fuck your disgusting ass? Is that what you're worried about? Usually the ones who point the fingers are the ones doing the things that they're accusing the other person of. You're just the one that let yourself become bed bound again by not moving. Yeah, I let myself be bed bound. That's right. It's nothing to do with my illnesses. He's not going to get help, guys. I took my wallet and keys. I'm going. Mm, yeah, okay. I am. Well, I hope to hear from you from the hospital. I will. Call you help you right through. Okay. Watch for a call. Yeah. Well, maybe you'll believe me when you get a call from the hospital. <laughs> yeah. If only you go. I am. Sure you are.
We'll see how long it takes before he comes back. I'm always an excuse for his poor behavior. <laughs> Especially when I just... I, 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 I don't approve of his bad behavior. But yeah, I'm blamed for it. I'm sending him money so he can get booze. That's nice. Isn't that funny? It's so sick. I didn't do anything. I don't feel good. I haven't felt good in days. I'm not provoking him in fights, asshole. What a stupid question. Does it seem like this is what I want my life to be? What a stupid question. Does it seem like I'm in approval of this? Dumbass. You know, blame someone who is being lied to and abused. Yeah, just fuck off. I'm going to go get some sleep. Try to, anyway. I'll be back if I can. I say in vogue. So she had it too. No, no, I, no. No, I say. No. I, no. I Harris, say. Harris dress. I, I, God, you're so fucking annoying. Yep. Leave me thinking about it.